low testosterone, otherwise known as hypogonadism. Um, some, some people refer to it as male menopause or Adam, you know, um, uh, disease of the aging male. Testosterone is very, it's the hormone in men as estrogen is the hormone in women. And believe it or not, starting around the age of 30 or so, the male hormone does slowly start to decrease. Uh, but it's all relative. And you know, there is no absolute uh, number. We, it is a blood test that we do check for, uh, but it's not necessarily like a specific blood test unlike other blood tests that we look for, where there could be a very wide range of normal. And as, a, as the male hormone testosterone um, does slowly decrease with, with age, you know, it is a powerful hormone that, that does a lot of very positive effects in a man. Commonly, men with low testosterone or hypogonadism, uh, they commonly kind of feel at the end of the day, they're feeling just very wiped out, very fatigued, tired. Other uh, symptoms of low testosterone can be just um, decrease in libido, uh, just not that interested in sex anymore. They may feel they have difficulties concentrating. Uh, you know, they can't complete a task or their, their mind seems to be always wandering. Another co common complaint is that they seem to like they're gaining weight, especially around the middle. They may try to exercise and work out, but they're just not maintaining the muscle mass and they're gaining more weight um, uh, despite that. Commonly, uh, ways to replenish back more testosterone, there are topical gels that people would place on their skin. Commonly, it's on their chest or shoulders, um, upper arms. And there's two variations, two name brands of that. One is called Androgel, one is called Testum. That's very common. Lately, there's been a newer uh, testosterone replacement therapy called Axeron. And it comes in a very convenient pump, and people place it underneath their underarms, so it's under the armpits. It does uh, very reliably you know, raise testosterone levels uh, most of the time. Uh, there's other... Uh, newer options, one is called Testopel, that does require a, a minor procedure done in, in my office where we implant little testosterone pellets. It's almost like little uh, Tic Tacs. And that's long extended release and long lasting. The gels on the skin, the man would have to do that every single day. And they have to be concerned about washing their hands immediately right afterwards and be concerned about making sure they don't have any transference to young children or you know, female partners. Oftentimes I, I tell patients because they, they, in their mind, they want to look for a target number. You know, what our mothers or grandmothers used to say that, you know, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing, and that's absolutely true. Commonly there's always concerns about uh, increasing testosterone, then there could be uh, difficulties with the prostate. Uh, difficulties meaning that more testosterone is what the prostate feeds on, and more testosterone than the prostate can grow larger in size. So the man may have some urinary symptoms, BPH, or symptoms of an enlarged prostate, going a little more frequently, weaker urinary stream, uh, dribbling at the end. There's always concern about the PSA too. The PSA is a screening test that we check for prostate cancer. Uh, by all means, there's no direct evidence or correlation that uh, giving more testosterone causes prostate cancer. Uh, very likely if the man is gonna get prostate cancer, they're gonna get it anyway but it's all about diagnosis and screening. And by all means, if a man has untreated prostate cancer, you know, we never, never want to give them more testosterone to feed the prostate cancer. More testosterone, believe it or not, there can be increased risk of uh, snoring and sleep apnea. So the person's uh, partner may not be very pleased with that. Um, it, but if there's more sleep apnea, there could be correlations with you know, raising high blood pressure. There's also re raising testosterone levels, there's been some uh, concerns about cardiac uh, health and cardiac risk too. Um, so if someone has had multiple heart attacks, uh, CHF, uh, they may not be, you know, by all means not the best candidate for testosterone replacement therapy. Mm -hmm.